Allah does not want to punish us. says, but will Allah Ta'ala get out of punishing you? Does he enjoy punishing us? No. Allah Ta'ala wants that we be his friends. There are two types of friendships. One is a common friendship and one is a special friendship. So for example, if you go to your university, your workplaces, or you have your social networks, you have some common friends. I'm friend with this person, I'm friend with that person. But there are some special friends you know, that, that with whom you share your feelings, your thoughts, with whom, to whom you go and want to get mashwaras from them, take their advices, implement those advices in your life. Right? So there are some common friends and there are some special friends. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when anybody says kalima la ilaha illallah, they all become friends of Allah. Allahu waliyu alladheena amanu. Allah ta'ala says that Allah ta'ala is the protecting friend of the people of Iman. When people have this belief in their hearts, Allah ta'ala becomes friends of everybody. But that's a common friendship. That's a common friendship. As we have very common friends, we like normal friends. Which is okay, but we don't care, like, we don't have those deep feelings for our common friends. But there are some special friends. And we are always there for our special friends. If they feel bad, we feel bad. When they are in trouble, we want to step up and want to do anything for them. That's special friendship. So there are some special friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. Who are those special friends? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that they are the special friends of Allah. They are the wali of Allah. They are the protecting friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who are those wali of Allah? Who are those awliya, awliya Allah? Allah ta'ala says, these are so special friends that لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون. They will have no fear and they will have no sadness. There are two things. One is an extern- external fear and there is an internal fear. External fear is that you may feel afraid or scared of something from outside. For example, like may Allah protect us, but a snake comes out, say. We will all be scared. We will try to kill the snake, let it go outside. We will all be scared. We will not let snake snake come and, you know, just crawl amongst us. We will be scared. This is external fear. Enemies, animals, this is khawf. And there is huzun, an internal fear, an internal sadness. For example, if our child does not behave with us prop- like in a good way, we feel bad about it. That's an internal fear, an internal sadness. That is huzun. We feel bad, we feel sad. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that these my, these are my special friends, awliya Allah. They are my friends, they are also my friends, but they are special. And they have no fear, they have no sadness. Subhanallah. Allah Ta'ala says they are so special that if any sadness comes to them, I go and I, you know, make, make sure that they feel happy. They don't feel sad. If they feel that there is any scare, there is any, and they're scared of something, I go to them and I make sure that they are not scared anymore. Allah, what a special friendship. Who are those, Ya Allah? Who are special friends? Allah Ta'ala says, They are Alladina Amanu. Of course, they are the people of Iman. But on top of that, Wakanu Yattaqoon. They are the people of Taqwa. The people who have left every single sin from their life, the outward sins and the inward sins, Allah Ta'ala says, They are my special friends. Our problem is that we have not tasted that. That special friendship of Allah. Becoming a wali of Allah is not like impossible thing. When we say, oh, Fala person is a wali of Allah. What is that? Is he an, is he an angel? Has he like, has he like jumped out of a, of a tree? His mother has given him a birth as if everybody has been given birth by their mothers. He has also had two eyes, you know, one nose, two ears, possibly. 
Like, of course, there are a few people who don't have it. But generally speaking, then their the blood runs in their veins as well. They also have emotions. They also have desires. They are not, they're not angels. They're also people like me and you. But the one thing that they have done is that they have struggled in their life enough that they have been able to take out every single sin from their life. And this is what makes them awliya Allah. This is what makes them the wali of Allah, those special friends of Allah. And then they have no fear. La خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ Nothing, nothing scares them. Nothing makes them sad. But as it says that subhanAllah, these people, awliya Allah, another thing, it doesn't mean that they don't, they are not put into any test by Allah. They may. Allah protect all of us. They may be put into test. How about we're put into test? In fact, they were put into deep, deep tests. But they don't have any schuzen. Father says it is as if we are sitting in a glass room made up out of glass. There might be snowing outside. Maybe a thunderstorms outside. Maybe it's like you can see that the it's so heavy uh, storm that the trees are being uprooted from, from their roots. They see all of that around them. They see all of these troubles coming to them. They see all of things happening around them. But as if they are in a glass room, I mean, it's happening outside. It's not, not happening inside. They see all of that, but does not trouble them at all. This is exactly what happens to them. They may feel, they may lose their business. They may lose money. They may, somebody might pass away in their families. You know, something, anything may happen. But they swoon in their heart. They know it's all coming from Allah. They know it is from unit such as they connect to Allah. They are already His special friends. Nothing bothers them at all. This is what it means by having no husband. They're never scared. Anything that whenever they feel scared, they raise their hands, ask Allah to be protected, and Allah Taala protects them. This is what it means by La Khawfun Alayhim Wa La Hum Yahzanoon. We are Allah, and this comes with taqwa.